Hello everyone, this is Brian Koval. I'm the Biological Coordinator with the Peninsula Stream Society and I'm very pleased to bring you today our first of many webinars in the month of November uh, and this one features the Millstream Creek Fishway Project. And this webinar is sponsored by Finest at Sea Ocean Products Limited. Now if you have a look at the photo on the right, you'll see Ben standing in a culvert. Now, that's called the Atkins Road Culvert, as Atkins Roads goes over top of it. Uh, but we had Ben stand in the culvert uh, just to give you some reference of how large this culvert actually is. And in fact, this culvert actually creates a barrier to fish migration, stopping fish from migrating to the upper reaches of the watershed, which include very good habitat. So, how do you help fish get up and through a culvert? Well, you could build a fishway. So if you look on the left, uh, you'll see the topics from today's webinar, a bit of an outline, just so you know what's coming up. And on the right, we have a photo of one of the site tours that we held uh, after one of our weekly meetings on site. And we had a number of people there that day. We had Peninsula Stream staff, board members, as well as Mitzi Dean, a uh, local MLA. And also we had the... CEO of the Pacific Salmon Foundation, Mike Manier. And these site tours were just a great way to show people the project and get them excited about it. So now I'm showing you a video of a male adult coho swimming through a fish camera that's installed downstream of the Atkins Road culvert. Now this shows that indeed salmon are migrating upstream and if they could access the upper reaches they'd be able to access a whole lot more habitat leading to an increased number of salmon into the future. So this will give you an idea of what the whole site sort of looked like before any of the work began. I'd like you to keep this in mind as I go through this presentation because this area is about to go through a a huge transformation for the better. So just have a look at the culvert and soak this all in. There we go. So to get down to the site, a little bit of site preparation needed to be undertaken. And so we started this back in March with uh, Chu Excavating, um, part of Rawmax group of companies. And as you can see, we built an access road down to the project site. We also cleared trees, and we wanted to do this before nesting season started, so we wouldn't disturb any of those nesting birds. We also did a little bit of prep work and put some signage up so that people could know what we were up to. We're not just building a road down to the creek. We're getting ready to build a fishway. So one important thing to note as well is that back in March, this was right before the COVID shutdown. And I just want to mention that once COVID started, uh, we obviously started following all necessary COVID protocols, um, keeping distance as much as possible, as well as masks and sanitizing as much as possible. So there were challenges with COVID, but we sure got through them and kept the project underway. So we did have some questions about the habitat upstream. Is it there? What does it look like? And how much are we dealing with? So Keegan Patterson also uh, worked for Peninsula Stream Society uh, and tirelessly on the Millstream project, getting there at 7 a.m. every morning with the, with the crew. And herself and I went out and did a habitat assessment from the Atkins Road culvert all the way up to Matson Lake. In total, we mapped over six and a half kilometers of habitat. And if you just have a look at a couple of the pictures here, there's Keegan in action, but you'll also see on the right a nice big pool. And to just go through some of our findings, well, there was lots of big deep pools, lots of rock, riffles, and spawning gravel, which are great for the fish that we're getting upstream. Uh, there's lots of wood and adequate vegetation in the riparian area. And there's even a fishway that exists at the Bear Mountain Golf Course that helps fish get up to Matson Lake. Well, of course, any assessment, you do come across some issues as well. And some of the ones we found were some steep eroding banks, 
few tars in the creek, which could have come from a number of sources, as well as a few dump sites along the creek. Now, I look at these issues and see opportunities. Upon completion of fishway construction, we'd like to carry volunteers and stewards in the community into the future with a diversity of little projects to work on so that we keep momentum in this creek going. And I will be talking about the volunteer opportunities a little bit later in the presentation, so please stay tuned. So, what I am showing you now is a video recorded by the Chair Peninsula Streams, Richard Ketchin. And he did a very, very fantastic job. So I'm just going to play it for you now and just talk a little to explain things as we go through. So there you see Ben in the culvert, just like at the beginning, showing the need for a fishway. As you can see, the construction beginning back in June of 2020. Setting up the frames to pour the concrete around the head wall. And here you can see they're standing on the concrete in the bottom of the culvert. And you can see some baffles, which I'll talk a bit more about later. And there's Richard York, who worked tirelessly to keep the crew going. Did a great job on this project. There you can see the fishway being dug. Lots of blasting had to be done to get through that bedrock. But you'll see the orange lines there. That's where the weirs will be installed. Working really hard to get those frames in place so they can pour that concrete. And of course the concrete work was undertaken by Farmer Construction. And here are those weirs. And these are the weirs at work. Such a nice sound, isn't it? And of course we have to thank all our volunteers, skilled contractors, and generous supporters. We have a number and we will um, have a list displayed during the question period of this presentation. And there's some overhead footage and this was filmed with the drone. Our Vice Chair Mike Derry, you can see him in the bottom corner there. So absolutely thanks to everyone and thank you Richard for making this wonderful video. Uh, just some uh, key points to reflect on back in the video before we move on. Um, 2016 is when Peninsula Stream started to design and raise funds for the Millstream Fishway. Uh, just about four years later, and June 2020, when the construction began. And July is when that culvert was lined and those baffles installed. And in August, the fishway channel was dug out and the small weirs installed. And October opened it back up and that's when you saw that water spilling over and now um, we just await the planting to be undertaken in November. So I mentioned the site meetings earlier as well as the the field tours and the site meetings were very very important. We're able to discuss uh, any safety concerns, any environmental issues of which were very minimal. In fact we did water quality over the duration of this project and it was maintained throughout and uh, we also discussed the the progress of the project and this was really important so that we could hit those milestones on time to make sure that we were going to finish this thing before the rain started and just like to thank the crew again because they really went above and beyond and pulled it off so this is the fishway construction that started um, or th that was being undertaken in June. Um, so if you look on the far right here, 
uh, coming out of the culvert, you'll see this black pipe. Now that is a gravity fed uh, bypass pipe attached to a dam upstream. And this way, what happens is the water flows into this pipe all the way downstream to the bottom reaches of the project so that we don't have any water on site. You might be thinking, oh, what about the fish on site? Well, we have that covered as well. As biologists, we go in and we undertake a fish salvage. Um, we collect the fish that are on site and move them up or downstream so that we can do the work uh, with minimal effect to the wildlife. So that pipe is what was taken out in October to let the water start uh, flowing freely. And if you just have a look on the right, you can just see the excavator and dump truck working in synchronicity. So uh, the concrete pouring, I was kind of taken by. It was really, really interesting, a very smooth operation. Uh, you can see the staging, um, or what I call it, uh, but the frames put up to pour the head wall. But you see all the contractors and workers up there, and everyone has their own job, and it just works so smoothly. And it's kind of like watching a play, just the way they have everything put together, and the teamwork, just amazing. But you can see this green arm up here. That's the slinger, so that they can stay far away and pour the concrete into those frames. Now it's really important that biologists and environmental monitors are on site those days to check on water quality to make sure that the water quality is maintained. So here you'll see the crew again working really hard uh, just leveling off the the concrete that's been poured in those frames. Uh, as you can see it's quite a bit of work. You can see the um, the concrete truck there and yeah, working away. So this video is going to be of the baffles at work. There you go. You'll actually see the water hit them, pop over. Sounds really nice too. But what that's doing is it's slowing down the velocity of the water. And this is actually going to help the fish uh, make their way through that culvert um, especially as more water starts flowing through. And now, uh, this is the drone footage again taken by Mike Derry, Vice Chair of Peninsula Streams. On the bottom of the fish, I actually see a basketball. I had to go fetch out because I was worried that um, it might deter the fish. But I think it was just trying to make its way up the fishway. And if you look right in the middle, that's actually Millstream Creek flowing downstream. And as we keep turning, you're going to start to see the spillway. And there's the culvert. And just to the right, that's the entrance slash exit of the fishway. There you go. And now you can actually see um, more of the fishways. It starts to pan a bit further right. There you go. So now you have the, the bird's eye view of the Millstream Fishway project. All right. So now after getting all this exciting information, I'm sure you're wondering, well, what are the volunteer and learning opportunities? Well, there's going to be quite a few. And you can sign up on our website to be notified about the upcoming volunteer opportunities. That's the best way to be in the know. Uh, there will be stream keepers training uh, that currently is to be determined due to COVID, but we will be playing that into the future. So stay tuned. Uh, we're also planning some restoration upstream of the culvert. And many of those activities were of course generated from that habitat assessment undertaken in 2019. And there'll be salmon enumeration opportunities. There's a few options here. One is a fish camera like the one downstream. Uh, there will also be some passive integrative transponder tagging going on. We put these little tags in, in the salmon and when they pass through an antenna or an array, uh, what happens is it lets us know exactly what fish and at what time they went through the array so we can have an idea of this, um, how many fish are actually swimming out to the ocean and then we await the adults return to see who comes back. 
and there'll also be some opportunities for streamside salmon counting as well, which is a great way to spend some time on the creek. And another great way to spend some time on the creek uh, would be to become part of our water quality monitoring program. We want to make sure that the quality of the water in Millstream Creek is maintained into the future, and there's no better way to do that than to get your boots on the ground. So, on that note, I'd just like to thank you for all tuning in today, and I'd like to thank all of our sponsors and partners and everyone who made this possible. And now I'd just like to extend uh, an invitation to all of you to ask any questions about the project. Thank you very much. Bye now.